Penn State University is one of the top 20 research universities in the country and the Department of Psychiatry is part of the Milton S. Hershey Medical Center and the Penn State College of Medicine. We have programs in the clinical arena providing psychiatric services to Central Pennsylvania region. We have educational programs that include residency programs, child fellowship program, a psychology internship program. We teach medical students and graduate students. We have research programs that include cutting edge research in sleep, in mood disorders work, in child psychiatry, child psychology, and in addiction. The founding chair of our department was Dr. Anthony Kales, a sleep researcher who also founded the Sleep Research and Treatment Center, which has become one of the leaders in the field of sleep epidemiology, the influence and interaction between sleep and inflammation, and a leader in understanding the cardiovascular risk factors from sleep disturbance. Collaboration is key to what we do at many different levels. We have a collaboration with Pinnacle Health to provide care through the Pennsylvania Psychiatric Institute. Pennsylvania Psychiatric Institute is both an inpatient and an outpatient facility. We have 89 inpatient beds. The adult beds include a geriatric unit. Frequently, many of these adults have medical comorbidities as well as their psychiatric reason for admission. We have a 16-bed unit for adolescents and a 9-bed unit for children. We have ECT services for both inpatients and outpatients, and our ECT service is growing on a monthly basis. On the outpatient side, we have a day hospital program for children and a similar one for adults. In addition, we have specialized programs for dialectical behavioral therapy, for first episode psychosis, and we also have a Hispanic clinic for patients who prefer to get their treatment in Spanish. With reverse integration, our goal is to bring primary care and specialty care providers here. This is where most of our patients get their physical health needs met, and so we would like to see every patient at Pennsylvania Psychiatric Institute receiving counseling in diet, in exercise, in weight management. The department has recently become an associate member of the National Network of Depression Centers. The network has a registry that has patient reported outcomes on a variety of measures to do with mania, depression, trauma. And so what we'd like to do is become a site for both clinical research and other kinds of research so that we can show what are best practices for psychiatric patients and how to enhance those outcomes by using tools from the National Network of Depression Centers. Our goal is to make Pennsylvania Psychiatric Institute a, an academic flagship for the department both from a clinical perspective as well as for education and research. The Department of Psychiatry and the Pennsylvania Psychiatric Institute partner with our community to provide programs that will benefit the community health, particularly programs in addiction and in facing depression. One of the unique features of our laboratory is the use of functional near-infrared spectroscopy. This is a neuroimaging technology that uses light to image the brain activity in prefrontal cortex. It is small, it is relatively inexpensive, it's portable, and so we can actually go out and work with it on site to get imaging data. One of the applications that we have is in working with patients with either prescription opiate dependence or alcohol dependence and we're working with the care and treatment centers to develop an objective central nervous system brain-based measure that helps us do a better job of making clinical decisions by giving us information about how vulnerable this person is to relapse and whether or not they may or may not have a chance of maintaining their absence once they, they leave the residential treatment and go home. Our preliminary data is very promising and we're continuing to do that work with the care and treatment centers.
We believe the best research is based on clinical experience and that clinical experience should inform our research, that the two aren't separable, but they actually should go together. We think that research should have a direct impact on the clinical work that we do with kids and adolescents. And we also believe that the best clinical work should inform the research questions we ask. Penn State Health is focused on trying to help kids and adolescents who historically haven't had access to services. For example, Dr. Bobinski is working with girls with ADHD, which were traditionally ignored as a population of kids who could have ADHD. Doctors Murray and Pearl and their crew are working uh, with young adults and adolescents with autism who have also been ignored. We have a division of autism services that focuses on the transition for adolescents to young adulthood for individuals with aut autism spectrum disorder. We have several novel programs that focus on this that are one of a kind in the country. Programs such as social skills intervention, specifically for those ages, medication management, individual therapy, and then also some programs specifically for transition to help individuals define and follow through with goals um, for movement to adulthood. As part of our collaboration actually with the Pennsylvania Department of Human Services Bureau of Autism Services, um, we have a staffed call line where people can call in with any sort of questions that they may have for individuals living in Pennsylvania. We also go to events in the community. Our collaboration with Public Health Sciences focuses on data through insurance claims, and we're really interested in looking at emergency department utilization, which is really high for adolescents with autism spectrum disorder, trying to find different things that predict emergency department utilization that we could modify, so things that we could change to decrease these rates in adolescents. So many patients and families who are affected by mental illness and affected by behavioral health problems that really are devastating. And as an academic department, it's our responsibility to bring the resources of research, the resources of an academic university, to focus on these problems, to generate the new knowledge that we need in order to bring individualized, personalized treatments to patients and families that will allow them to improve the quality of life that they're able to have.